Hi and hello dear friends. Welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics and this playlist is where you can find video lessons for CAT, MAT and other management exams. Again in this session we have a very nice question from the concept of numbers. Let's directly get into the question. So here is our question. How many of the factors of the number 6,48,000 So note the number. Our number is 6,48,000 which are So here we have got two subdivisions basically. So the first one says perfect squares and the second one perfect cubes. So the meaning of the question appears to be quite simple. So we need to find the number of factors for this particular number which are going to be either perfect squares or perfect cubes. That's going to be the question. All right. Yes. And if you remember, we have already dealt with questions which are based on finding the number of factors, finding the number of odd factors, even factors, finding the sum of factors, all these things. So maybe you can look those old videos to get some basic idea. And following that here again, we are dealing with the question with number of factors, finding the number of factors. But precisely here, we need to find the factors which are perfect squares and perfect cubes. Let's come to that part later. Now you can see this kind of questions appearing very frequently in many management exams and also in other exams like RRB, all these stuffs. Fine. Yes. So yeah, though the question appears to be very easy, this involves some bit technical steps to solve this. So let's now get into the approach how we can solve the problem. So first of all, whenever we deal with a problem, finding the number of factors. Okay. So if they ask you how many factors are there, find the number of factors. So what we basically do there is just take our number and prime factorize our number. Remember that we need to prime factorize our number. So let's directly start prime factorizing our number. So our number here is 6,48,000, right? This is our number, right? So yeah, let me write it. And we'll start to prime factorize. And remember, the moment you say prime factorize, we need to use only prime numbers to do this factorization process. So let me start from the smallest prime number, 2 itself, right? We can go with 2 itself, right? So 2. So this is going to be 32 and this is 8, right? So 4, 4,000. Yeah, let's continue. Let's continue. Again, I'm going to prime factors by 2 itself. So this will be 32, right? 16 times 32 and we, here we have 4. So this will be 2 and 1000 following it. Yeah, continue. So next I'm going to again divide by 2 only. So I will get 81,000. And next I think we can go by 3 tables now because we are getting 81, right? So though this whole number is divisible by 2, we can just go, the, uh, go by the way which can make our steps very easy. So let me try to divide by 3. So 3 in 81, it's exactly 27 times. So 27,000 will get. Again, I can go by 3 tables, 9,000. Again, this is 3. This is 3,000. And again, 3, this will be 1,000. Yes, got it. I think now we can simultaneously, I mean like we can, we can alternatively divide by 2 and as well as 5, right? So that makes our steps very easy. Now go with 2. This will be 1,000 and 2. That's exactly 500 times. Again, now 5, it will be 100 times. Again, 2, 50 times. Again, 5, 10 times. Again, 2, 5 times. That's it, finished. So successfully, we have prime factorized our given number there in the question. And now, and now, we can rewrite our number 6,48,000 as what now? We can rewrite it as just collect these numbers and uh, see how many, I mean like, uh, like the prime numbers are raised to what power that's all we have to see here right so just see start from the smallest prime number 2 itself so this will be 2 to the power 2 to the power just count how many 2's are here just carefully count so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 right so that means 2 to the power 6 multiplied by next we also have 3 right because the next prime number would be 3 only so we have 3 3 raised to the power, just see 3's appearances, how many 3's are here. So if you count the number of 3's, you can find it to be 1, 2, 3, 4. That's all. There are 4 3's available. So 3 to the power 4. Again multiplied by, we have got 5's powers also. So just see how many 5's are available here. So if you see for 5, 1, 2, 3. That's it. There are 3 5's. So 5 to the power 3. I hope you got this. 
So successfully we have prime factorized 6 lakhs 48,000. So the prime factorized uh, expression is going to be 2 to the power 6 multiplied by 3 to the power 4 multiplied by 5 to the power 3. That's it success. So that's the first step we need to undergo whenever we need to play with or find the number of factors for a given number. Okay, that's done. The first part is done. Now coming back to the question. Now again, visit our question. Here we need to find what? How many factors of our number are perfect squares and perfect cubes? This is going to be our question, right? So yes, here we'll make a small plan. Basically, we need to know the meanings of perfect squares and perfect cubes. Hope you know the meaning. So when do you call a number to be a perfect square? We'll start from there, okay? Yes. So how can you call a number to be a perfect square or what property it should undergo? That we will think, okay? From that we will think, maybe that will be helping us to solve the problem very more efficiently, that's the reason. So think about perfect squares. You can call a number to be a perfect square whenever it can be expressed, whenever it can be expressed in the form, it can be expressed in the form, some number raised to 2k. You understand? Yes. So my number should be expressed in the form of x to the power 2k where x is going to be some natural number and also and also our k is also a natural number. Why? Because 2k because this will indicate that the power will be an even number. A natural number raised to an even power will be definitely a perfect square only. That's the point I just came to explain here. Okay. Yes. So we saw about this perfect squares. Same when you try to apply it for perfect cubes. A perfect cube will be a number which is expressed in the form what? x to the power 3k. You understand? Now this time you raise a number to a power and particularly if the number is a multiple of 3. Now what can you tell there? So if a number is a multiple, I mean the power to which you are raising, right? If the power is a multiple of 3, then definitely you can tell that your number will be a perfect cube. Okay, yes, fine. So these are going to be the key elements for us to solve this problem. Okay, all right. So now we got the prime factorized way, right? So let me rewrite it here. We'll start with this perfect squares first. Okay, so our prime factorized uh, uh, expression is going to be 2 to the power 6 into 3 to the power 4 into 5 to the power 3. Is it or not? So now for our number, which we have written in this form, we are going to find the number of factors which are perfect squares. Now we will individually deal with each of these expressions. Okay, I mean we have this huge expression available. Now we will see the individual terms. Start with this 2 to the power 6. Now inside this 2 to the power 6, what are all the numbers or what are all the expressions we have in this particular form? That's what we have to think. x to the power 2k. That is what we have to think. Okay, fine. Yes, it's very simple to think and understand. Like how we can just get that list is, it's very easy. Just start with 2 to the power, 2 to the power. You start from 0 itself because 0 itself is a multiple of 2 only. Is it or not? Yes. Yeah, 2 to the power 0. And next, what I can have inside this 2 to the power 6 is, I can, the next, the next power what I can have is 2 to the power 2. Now you see here, here again we have 2 to the power 2. This power 2 is a multiple of 2 or I can say it's an even number. Yes, is it or not? Yes. What next I can have inside this 2 to the power 6? I can even have 2 to the power 4, which is again an even power. And at last, I can have 2 to the power 6 inside this 2 power 6. Is it or not? So inside this 2 power 6, if I want to collect only the even powers, I can have these many numbers inside 2 power 6. Is the point clear? Yes. I can have 2 power 0 inside this. I have 2 power 2 inside. I have 2 power 4 inside. I have 2 power 6 inside this. That's it, fine, yes. And remember, you cannot have the other powers. For instance, you cannot have two power one here. You cannot have two power three here. Why? Because those numbers, two power one or two power three or two power five, they cannot be perfect squares. Is it or not? Fine, yes. Because by looking at the power itself, you can easily tell two power one, two power three. See, yes. So they can't be taken as perfect squares. Only these numbers can be taken as perfect squares. That's the reason we are listing only these numbers. Now come to the next one. We have 3 power 4. Now repeat the same. Inside this 3 power 4, what can be the possible values we can have? Again, start from 3 power 0. We can have 3 power 2. And we can have 3 power 4. That's it. The list is done over here. Because we can't exceed the maximum power, 3 power 4. That's the reason, okay? So up to 3 power 4, we can have here. And coming to the next one, 5 power 3. Here we can have 5 power 0, 
5 power 2 again 5 power 4 is not permitted is it or not because with the maximum power we have for 5 is 3 only so we can have either 5 power 0 or 5 power 2 that's all the perfect squares we have inside this 5 power 3 expression that's it is the point clear now finding the number of factors which are perfect squares is going to be very very easy so the number of factors number of factors which are perfect squares which are perfect squares is equal to now make the task very easy here i can have four possible values is it or not see here one two three four there are four possible values so four this can collide with this can just combine with any of these three possible factors one two three there are three factors so multiplied by three three possible factors here and this can collide with combine with any of these two factors is not there are two possible factors here so multiplied by two so four into three into two so that many combinations we can have to get perfect square so what is four into three into two the answer will be 24 is it or not because 4 3s are will be 12 and 12 2s are is 24 so that means we can have 24 factors for our original number i mean the given number 6 tracks 48000 which are going to be what perfect squares that's going to be the answer yes i hope it is clear to you now we are going to take the same process for perfect cubes also but provided here our notation is what or here the condition is what x raised to 3 power k what it means the power 3 power i mean the power what we have here 3k this represents what this actually represents a multiple of 3 the power should be a multiple of 3 basically only then our number becomes a perfect cube is it or not that's the reason okay now let's repeat it so i'm again going to list or take the same expression 2 power 6 multiplied by 3 power 4 multiplied by 5 power 3 and now let's start listing those powers which are multiples of 3 is the point clear again we start with 2 power 6 itself so again start with 2 power 0 basically 0 itself will be a multiple of 3 only is it or not so 2 to the power 0 next is what next number i can have here what will be the next number that will be a multiple of 3 it's obviously 3 only so that means i can have 2 to the power 3 i can have inside this 2 power 6 and what next i can have i can have 2 power 6 itself here available is it or not so 2 power 0 2 power 3 2 power 6 remember here again we can't have the other numbers we can't have 2 power 1 or 2 power 2 or 2 power 4 2 power 5 those numbers are not allowed here why because none of them is going to be a perfect cube that's the reason okay keep that idea very strongly in your mind okay so only these numbers are possible perfect cubes so that's the reason we are listing only these numbers yeah coming to the next one here we have 3 to the power 4 right so inside this 3 to the power 4 what possible values we can have we can have 3 power 0 available here and next we can have 3 power 3 that's all because the maximum power itself is 3 power 4 only right we can't exceed that so we stop at 3 power 3 itself that's it and coming here 5 to the power 3 so here what we can do here so here again we can have 5 power 0 that's possible and the next is 5 power 3 and that's it we can't exceed this that's all these are the possible values we can have and let's do the same thing what we do what we did here so the number of factors which are perfect cubes okay by default it is understood right here the number of factors which are perfect squares here number of factors which are perfect cubes okay so here number of factors which are perfect cubes are going to be just see the possibilities and see the combinations here we have got how many combinations i mean how many ways we have in two powers we have got three different ways okay so three numbers here possible so these three can combine with any of these two and any of these two so that means three into here there are two numbers so two into here again there are two numbers so 3 into 2 into 2 is going to be what it's going to be 6 twos are 12 yeah 12 is going to be the answer so successfully we got the answers for these two subdivision questions i hope the process is clear to you and also i hope now you are clear with how we have to find the number of factors for any given number which are going to be perfect squares and perfect cubes yes is the things are the things clear yes you can just uh, uh, check it once and uh, see that you understood all the points yes fine yes yeah okay and uh, yes if at all you like this session please give a like and if you feel that this session would help any of your friends please do share this video to your friends also and again we'll catch up in the next video with some other interesting question see you soon there thank you so much